day three. And as you can see, a completely different day today to what it was yesterday. Just shows how quickly the, uh, the weather and the sea can change out here. About midnight last night, the wind started picking up. We put some more sail out. We're cruising along now about seven knots or so. And the trouble is the sea state's quite lumpy and it means that impossible dreams rolling all over the place. Part of the reason for using this wheelchair was so I could lean back and take some cat naps whilst I was on watch. The thing is, it's been so rough that I've been spending most of the night holding on to the, um, to the guardrails to stop me falling over whilst I'm on watch. So I'm actually quite tired, physically tired, and quite emotionally tired. It's a beautiful sunny day, and I'm glad the wind's with us, um, but no doubt the seas will get even bigger the deeper we get into the ocean. And the weather's not actually helping poor Susanna. She's uh, really feeling under the weather a bit at the moment. Hopefully in the next uh, 24 hours or so, she should come through and uh, we can actually start to enjoy the rest of this Atlantic voyage. They, li they lied. They said that I would be fine, that there'd be calm swells and, and none of this, and that cats are stable, and, and that I would, you know, acclimatise really quickly. And I actually think I've gotten worse. So um, I don't know. I'll get back to you on day five. The seasickness tablets haven't helped. <laughs> All they've done is make me coma. So we'll see. So that's about it for today and um, thanks for checking by and hopefully we'll have some better news tomorrow.